What's up everyone? Welcome to your 40 minute low impact cardio and standing abs workout. This is going to be a great workout for all fitness levels and you don't need any equipment today but if you'd like to bring in some light optional dumbbells for the standing ab crunches or twists feel free to do that. You can always make every single exercise your own. So I'll show you the low impact cardio version of every exercise. If you want to dial it up and add a little hop in or add something else in to intensify it just a bit more for what you need today, that's totally fine. Just make it your own, push yourself, but I promise this is going to be an intense workout. We've got 60 seconds per exercise and we're still rocking in unilateral training. So we're going to work on one side of the body for 60 seconds and then the other side of the body for 60 seconds and then rest for 15 seconds. And we'll We'll do that two times through so you get two rounds per side of your body okay let's go ahead and get started make sure you have your water and your sweat towel and also make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you lock it in that you're here with a thumbs up let's get warmed up all right let's go ahead and pull heels to glutes two one let's go So happy that you're here today. I want to get your heart rate up. I want to get you feeling connected with your core. Good, speed that up just a little bit more. I'm going to stay on the ground so you don't have to worry about making noise bouncing on the ground if anyone around you is asleep or if you're working out upstairs. Good job, add a little twist in. Three, two, leave your feet on the ground and twist. Keep your spine nice and tall. And also make sure your ribs stay stacked over your hips so you're not flaring them here. Three, two, and hands behind your head. Big stretch, and back to the middle. Stretch, back to the middle. One more each side. Good, hands on your tailbone, gentle push forward and back. There you go, last two. And two, perfect. Step up with your right leg, back with your left. Just open your hips and your chest up. And bend and straighten that front leg. Just sink down into your front heel. Push it away. Three, two, and one. Good. Switch sides. Three. Two, and open it up to the front. Nice wide stance. One leg is bent, one leg is straight. Let's go side to side. Great work. Just about 30 seconds left here. I want to get all the different ways that you're going to be moving warmed up before we start. So as soon as we start the work, you're already working hard. It's not a warm up set in your actual workout. Last one. Great job, bring it right here in the middle, squat nice and deep. Your first move is gonna be a squat, close stance to wide stance. So I want you to go here, if you can, lateral lunge, and then back end feet together. If you can't do the lateral lunge at this moment, wide squat, narrow, wide squat, narrow. Two, one, just to the right, let's go. Good. Bring it back in, sit down and keep those hips down, okay? Great job. Stay low and move nice and quick. After this, you're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna switch it to the left. See if you can keep your chest up. Make sure you're not twisting. Two, 
two, one, take it to the right, same thing. Good job, breathe, keep it up. Use your arms. When you're out here, make sure the opposite arm is out front. Switch to bring it back in. 30 seconds and we rest. Speed this up. Couple more. Two, one, rest. Good job, 15 seconds, and we go again. Going to the right first. Here we go, four, three, two, come on, let's go, one minute. Move that foot quickly. You can intensify this by getting lower over here. Okay, you can add maybe a squat jump here. Stay moving. Thirty seconds, great work. Tap go, tap go. Almost there. Breathe. Three more, three. Good, on your third one, take it to the other side. Two, one, let's go. There you go. Give me intensity, move quick, quick, quick. Big push. 30. Nice work. Come on, last 15. Quick feet go out, in, out, in. Come on, give me five, four, three, and rest. Beautiful. All right, we're headed up to standing core. Grab some water. Whew, you're resting for 30, so in about 20 seconds, standing side crunches. Hands are here. If you wanna add a dumbbell, feel free to add it here in this bow tie hold. We're gonna take it back to stretch, crunch here. Stretch, crunch, okay? We go in five. If you're holding a dumbbell here, knee to elbow. Two, one, let's go. And what I want here is the stretch in the oblique. Exhale, bring ribs closer to hips. When you crunch, make sure you stay tall and arch over. Exhale. 10. Two, one, other leg, same thing, keep it up.
Good job, tall crunch. Last 30, then we rest. Fifteen. And rest, beautiful. To step that up, add some weight, or give me a stabilization pause at the top. So we're back to the first side. If you wanna go one, two, and then back, that'll turn it up a little bit more for your core. Three, two, let's go. Sixty right here. Great job. If you're over halfway there on this side, make sure you're exhaling to crunch over here. Also make sure you're not bringing it here with your back rounded. Okay, you're here, tall. Switch sides, two, one, other side, let's go. If you lose your balance, it's okay. Stop here, then just take it back to create that stretch. <sighs> Exhale, crunch it again. You're doing great. <sighs> 30. Two more, two, one, and breathe. You've got 30 seconds to rest. In 30, we're going reverse lunge, forward kick. All right, we've got 15. Whew. You're gonna take right leg, keep it here, all right? Reverse lunge, kick. If you can, or if you'd like, feel free to add a little hop in there but we're just moving quickly, okay? Back, kick, two, one, let's go. Use your arms here as well, okay? So when your left leg is out front, right arm is out front. Switch to bring it through for good balance. Switching in 15, come on. Three, other leg in two, one, switch it over, let's go. Use your arms to help you fight through this. foot that's on the ground, dig that heel in. Good, 30 seconds. Woo. 
Good job. Come on. Burning is there. Breathing heavy is there. We've got 12. Then we'll rest. Come on. Three more. Three, two, and rest. Whew. Okay. One more round through each of those. If the leg on the ground is burning, that's because it's working hard. You're stabilizing with that leg. Through everything else, that's unilateral training. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Fifteen seconds down. Come on, breathe. The burn is real, 30 seconds to go on this side. Come on, whatever you need to do to get through it, keep moving. That's the trick today, just don't stop moving. If you need to modify, stop, step, okay. Just don't quit. 15, we're about to switch legs and wrap up this one. Two, one, other side, let's go. Last 60. Great work. Exhale, stay tall. Don't forget your arms. Last 30. Right here, come on. Yes, good job. We got 15 seconds left. Don't give up. Come on, we're about to head to some core. So, work it out for 10. Two, one, rest. How? Oh, 30 seconds. Breathe. And we've got standing twists. So you're thinking opposite elbow to opposite knee, okay? Let's go with right elbow to left knee. Take it back out to the side, twist. If you wanna use a weight, hold it here. We go in eight seconds. Here we go, left knee up, two, one. Same thing here, keep your spine tall. Okay, so you're not rounding. Keep it up. Fifteen. Two more, and then switch sides. Two, one, other side. Exhaling right before you twist, and then keep that exhale going through the twist. Good, last 15. <sighs> Two. 
two, one, rest. One more time through. And if you're holding a weight, feel free to really practice that exhale, okay? So you're not just twisting with your arms. Exhale like you're wringing some water out of some wet clothes. That's your core. Let's go. Good, 30. Great job. 15. Last one, and switch sides, let's go. Focus, good. Thirty. Fifteen. Soak in this breathing deep. Two more. Nice and tall. End it out here. Two. One, 30 seconds to rest. Great job. We're going lateral kick and touchdown. Okay, so keeping whew, right leg on the ground. You're gonna touch down beside it, step up, and then kick it. Touch down beside the right leg and kick. We go in seven. If you wanna add some intensity to that, you're here, hop kick. Three, two, one, all right, let's go. Touch down, step up, kick. 60, right here. Seconds. Good work. Fifteen. We're just going to switch to the other leg, kicking to the other side in ten. One more and switch. Two, one, other way, let's kick. Last 30. Two more. And rest. One more per side. Whew. And then we'll head back to standing core. Breathe. Here we go, four, three, two, one. 
three, two, touch down beside the right and kick it. Switch sides, let's go. Last minute of this move. Great work, come on. You got 30 seconds. Bang this one out. Come on, go, go. Okay, standing core, grab water, 30 seconds rest. So we're gonna go into disco, slant crunch, and side crunch. Okay, so you think of a disco position, right? You're here, opposite arm to opposite knee. You're gonna take it here, then side. Disco here, then side, okay? Let's go. Just go cross, and then that same knee just comes up to the side. That's it, 30, then we'll just switch legs. Fifteen. Two, one, other leg. Comes this go. Inside. Forgot how to disco for a second. <laughs> And this is not a how fast can you do it exercise. It's how well can you squeeze in every rotation. Six, five. Good job. Two. One, rest. Whew. One more round through each side. Hopefully you like this little combo, twist and oblique crunch. So the deep core muscles and the obliques are really targeted here. All right, let's move the left leg. Two, one.
That's it, last 30 on this side. You can easily speed through this and you can easily do the moves without making the squeeze connection for your abs to get the most out of this. I need your abs to be squeezing hard every time. 15. 15. Last one, two, one, switch to the other leg, let's go. Twist and oblique crunch. Whew. 30 seconds. Shoulders are getting a little tired, right? From holding them up here. You're doing great. This is a full body workout if you really think about it. Legs are working hard in your cardio. Arms are working hard, constantly moving. 15 more seconds. Three, two, one, 30 seconds rest, great job. All right, slanted knee drive to standing knee drive. All right, so take a slant here, just like we were doing kind of just now. Okay, you're going one, two, put that leg down, one, two. Okay, so slant, slant, front, front. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Take it side, side, front, front. Think of it as a cross body and then straight up. Good, when you bring your straight up knee down, step out to get into the slant. And you can definitely make this one a little more impact if you'd like, up to you. <sighs> 15 and you switch to the other leg, coming up in front. Three, two, one, other side comes up. Front, front, step, slant, slant, good. Same thing here with your core. All right, keep it stacked. 30 seconds on this leg, come on. We're getting real close to the finish line. One more round, nine seconds. Go back to moving the right leg. Here we go, hands up, let's bring it right up in front. Two, one, here, here, come on. I started with the wrong leg. Keep it going. seconds. <sighs> 
Nine, eight, switch it over in six. Three, two, one. Other knee, front, front, step, across, across. Thirty more seconds. Come on. Twelve. Five. and rest. Beautiful job. We've got a side plank finisher. Do not leave. I'm going to show you all the ways that you can do it. Okay. So most beginner option, knees stacked up and you're on your elbow. Okay. If you want to advance it a little from there, you're here. If you want to advance it a little from there, you're here. Okay. Here we go. Come on down. Left elbow down. Three, two, one, pop it up, let's go. And I know I've peppered these in throughout the program, but because this is our last week of unilateral training, I wanna finish solid with these. The way that you control your core is the way that you control everything. Every single movement starts here. Protecting your back starts here, wrapped around from front to side to back. 30 seconds, okay? If you are not finishing strong here with this strengthening exercise, you're missing out on all you could get out of this workout. So do not give up here. This is for you. I'm with you. You only got 10 more seconds, then we're switching sides. 10. And switch. Just go right into it. Keep going 60 right here. Then we rest. Or sorry, then we switch. Just go one, two, one, two, and we're done. Things to think about on your plank, make sure your hips are facing forward, okay? The wall that you're looking at right in front of you, your hips should both be facing it, okay? So not here, not here. 30 seconds, same thing with your shoulders and your chest. If you're here, doing a lot of work with the upper body and it puts your ribs and hips in a weird relationship here. So I want them to be stacked right here, right here, like a tube from your head to your toes. Or if you're stacked on your knees, straight down your body. Nine seconds, you're gonna switch back to the other side. We'll bang out two more minutes of core work and you're done. And let's go. Last round on this side. Good work today. Last 30, come on. Embrace that shake. You're shaking, you're not stopping. Your body's fighting, don't give up on it. Come on, come on, come on, you got single digit seconds. Eight. And drop and switch, let's go. Last 60, and you've made it to the cool down, come on. Breathe, stay calm here. Let the sweat fall, you have earned it.
If you start to shake, that's your body showing you it's fighting. Keep fighting with it. Mentally, you're just not giving yourself the option to drop down. If you gotta drop down, drop a knee. Don't drop those hips. Shoulders are on fire, but you're strong. Hold strong, do not stop. Come on. And rest. Beautiful. You've made it to your cool down. Just breathe for a second. If you gotta head out, hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button before you go to let me know that you crushed this workout. Hands and knees, here we go, let's cool it down. Give me two minutes. Shift your hips back, reach your hands forward, look up at your thumbs. Big inhale, as you exhale, lift everything up and drop the hips down, open your chest up. Look straight ahead, big deep breaths. Beautiful. Look left and right, back over to your heels. Come back up into tabletop position and take your heels out to the edge of your mat. Left hand over to right toe. And I want you to feel the side body stretch here. Good. Take your hands off, walk them across. And then take opposite arm over top your head to that side toe. Good work today. I want you to write something on a post-it note somewhere that motivates you in an area that you see in your house frequently. Maybe it's your car, maybe it's your bathroom. Maybe it's your work area. Write something that is an internal motivator, okay? Something, when you think of why you work out, that's what comes to mind. Put it on a post-it note or on a dry erase board or just write it on something in a place where you show up often because I want those things to be reminders to keep this a lifestyle, okay? Bring your feet in together, fold over top. Don't just make this something that you hit really quick and then the rest of your day doesn't look like you're putting in the work to your goals. It's gotta be the full picture. It's gotta be you showing up here, you showing up in your nutrition, you showing up in your hydration, you showing up to get rest and good sleep and taking care of your mental health. All those things compound together to give you the best potential for reaching your goals. Come on up to standing. Great job. So, if you're thinking all the changes are gonna happen right here in your workouts, you're not giving yourself a fighting chance for your goals, the big goals, coming to life. Okay, switch it over. The way that you show up here has to be the way that you show up everywhere else in every other part of your journey. Don't leave yourself hanging. Don't give yourself half of a chance. This workout is 30 minutes of your day, 40 minutes of your day. The other 23 hours, what are you doing to show yourself that you're actually working to your goals? Okay, not giving half effort there and full effort here. This is a small portion of your day. We've got to recover to build muscle to keep your metabolism up. You have to work on your mental health so you can care enough about the journey to stay in it. You have to hydrate to repair your muscles. You have to get sleep so that all the strength that you want can actually happen. Strength happens outside of the workout. We tear it down here in the workout and then as soon as the workout stops, you start rebuilding and that's strength. Be strong outside of these workouts and show up here tomorrow feeling that mindset entirely. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up to lock it in. Let me know that you crushed it. Comment below what your favorite combo was today and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye everyone.